Hi everyone. Today we are going to show a particular problem of calculus that is a limit problem where x is a variable which tends to infinity. So what we have to decide? We have to decide what will be the value of limit x tends to infinity square root of x square plus a x plus a square minus square root of x square plus a square equal to how much? So for doing this, let us start it this way. Limit x tends to infinity. You can understand if you put x's value as infinity. It will be a infinitesimal expression which cannot be evaluated as such. So what I am doing, I am just multiplying the entire expression being given here with the that is this is being given in my expression. I am just multiplying with the plus sign that is square root of x square plus a x plus a square. plus root over x square plus a square whole divided by square root of x square plus a x plus a square plus square root of x square plus a square. So what I have done? So I have just <coughs> multiplied the numerator that is my main expression but with a expression which is consisting of a plus sign. What is the purpose of that? Because this is, if you, if you can understand that this is a minus b into a plus b. I want to simplify the numerator in such a way so that all the expressions and the variables gets nullified. So this is limit x tends to infinity. This is a minus b into a plus b that is a square minus b square. So this is x square plus a x plus a square minus x square minus a square whole divided by square root of if I take common x square then it becomes 1 plus a by x plus a square by x square minus sorry it will be plus <coughs> square root of if I take x square common here 1 plus a square by x square. Okay. Now you can understand that x square and x square are nullified. A square and a square are nullified. So in the numerator a is a constant which can come out of the limit. So it will be a into limit x tends to infinity x divided by here x square can come out of the square root. So it will be x into square root of 1 plus a by x plus is a by x whole square plus here also x will come out 1 plus a by x whole square right so if i take common x from the numerator and denominator so this x this x and this x goes off so my entire expression will now be simplified as that is this expression I am writing is as a into limit x tends to infinity in the top there is nothing but 1 divided by square root of 1 plus a by x plus a by x whole square plus square root of 1 plus a by x whole square right now you can understand that if x tends to infinity then 1 by x obviously tends to 0. So let me do a substitution as 1 by x as y. x tends to infinity that means y tends to 0. So it becomes as a into limit y tends to 0. I am just transforming the entire limiting expression into y. So it is 1 plus a y plus a square by sorry a square y square plus 1 plus square root of 1 plus a square y square right because 1 by x is y and 1 by x whole square is y, y square that means a into limit y tends to 0 if I, now if I put the physical value of y as 0 then it becomes 1 by square root of 1 plus a into 0 
plus a square into 0 plus square root of 1 plus a square into 0. That is equal to limit y tends to 0 1 by square root of 1 plus 1 that is 1 by 1 plus 1 that means a by 2 right so this is the expression which is being evaluated as the final result of the limit that i have given you if you like this video i will request everyone to give your comments view watch and subscribe my channel as well thank you